Well, how is everyone today? We got another day where I'm out here getting some macro photography done. And today I'm going to focus on insects. I have the um, 40 to 150 cheapo kit lens for the Olympus EM1 Mark II. And I have two extension tubes on it. Now, what I found is that the one 10 millimeter extension tube, just putting that one on, is perfect if I'm doing, say, nature macro photography. And then when I'm doing insects, and I switch to both extension tubes, it ends up working out perfectly. And I'd say that on this telephoto lens, usually at about 150 millimeters is where I seem to get the, uh, the best photos. So I'm going to walk around. I'm going to find some insects. I'm hoping to get at least three, three usable pictures, or I, or I should say three usable, or three good enough pictures to actually share with you guys. So the, it's going to be a bit of a challenge because I'm out here during the day, not in the morning. So obviously everything's going to be running away from me. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. So that's the goal. Three YouTube worthy insect photographs. Okay, so I was actually just about to start walking around. Look down and there is a grasshopper. So I'm going to hope that he stays put. And I'm going to attempt to get an image of this guy. I'm going to do 1 25th of the shutter speed, F8, uh, ISO. Let's see where my ISO is. It's on 100 and 1 16th on my flash speed. So if I zoom all the way in, this is actually my working distance for this uh, grasshopper. And finding him in the frame, incredibly difficult. So I'm going to go all the way to the 40 millimeters, and I'm going to hope that he lets me get really close. Hmm. Yeah, he's already starting to kind of move on me here. Almost in focus. Just stay put, buddy. Don't move. Oh, he's actually backing up. He's moving. He's moving down the stem. Trying to move away from me. All right, I think I'm going to leave him alone now. And... I'm pretty sure I got one nice shot out of all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one up now. And uh, I'm going to keep moving around, looking for another shot. What is that? Okay, I've got something that looks like a <laughs> it looks like a giant mosquito. I almost don't want to go near that thing. <sighs> looks like something you'd see in a uh in a movie. I'm you know what? I'm going to zoom. I'm going to see if I can get some video. And then if one of you knows what this is, you can just let me know. <laughs> Where'd he get? Oh, come on. He's gone. Yep, he's gone. Probably for the better. That guy was kind of creepy. All right, let's keep looking. Okay, so now I've got another, uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of a moth. It's actually very pretty. So... I'm going to zoom to the full length, which on this would be a 300 millimeter equivalent. 
And I'm going to do that just to try to get like a safety picture before I try to get closer. Let's see here. Oh, I think I'm looking at the wrong thing. Oh, there we go. So, I mean, the working distance at the 300 millimeter equivalent is actually, i got to let the wind stop now, is actually very long. I mean, I'm, I'm probably about two feet away from the moth. And I'm getting him in focus. So I guess that comes in handy in this situation where I, I don't really want to scare him away yet. And I just want to see if I can get a few shots. And I have pretty good shots too. All right, so now I'm going to take it in, see if I can get closer to him. And get some better shots. Oh see and he flew away so that is why i always start with the longer focal length because especially when it's hot out right now there all these insects are heated up and they're moving quite a bit earlier in the morning i could probably get away with getting close to him but i think i actually got a really nice picture of him anyway at the 300 millimeter equivalent and uh i'm gonna go ahead and put that up now if I'm even, I don't even know if I'm still in the video. I got the camera so far away from me. But I'll throw that up now, and then I'm going to keep looking around for more. I'm actually going to look in this tree over here. See if I can find anything that's a little higher than the ground. Oh, there's a, well, yeah, there's a grasshopper right there, a different color one. And, uh, again, I'm going to start with the long focal length just to attempt to get that, that safety shot. That is a lot of pictures. A lot of them are actually come, coming out too dark because the recycle time on this lens, well, it sucks. So. <laughs> but he's still there so i'm gonna i'm gonna go to the 70 millimeters on the lens here and see if he will be nice enough to let me get close that way i can get a little bit better light on him all right the wind's not helping one of those might have came out but i'm gonna I really want a good shot. He seems to be somewhat cooperative. So we're going to see if I can hold him still. All right, now we're going to leave him be. Yep, I think I got one of him. I might even be able to focus stack that one. So go ahead and put him up now and that's three already but i actually haven't been out here for very long so i'm going to keep going okay so i've got an insect here that again i don't know what it is that one just scared me okay I do not know what this is, but it's very small. And it's so small, in fact, I can barely find it. Oh. Well, Flash went to sleep on me. Let's see if we can do this again. I don't know if I got the eye in focus on this one because it's so small. I'm, in reality, I'm supposed to be wearing reading glasses and I'm too lazy to take them out of my pocket and put them on. <laughs> but uh, we're going to see if I got the eye in focus on that one. And if I did, yeah, who needs reading glasses? <laughs> Well, I just walked into this area, 
And I mean, there's just stuff jumping everywhere. Of course, jumping's not exactly a good thing, because that means that it might not allow me to actually get a picture of them before they jump away. It, oh, he's gone. That one's gone. That, oh, it's grasshoppers. There's like hundreds of them. Every time I just move a little bit, they just start jumping everywhere. But, I'm going to see if I can find something over here anyway. Even though they want to be pretty flighty over here. You know, i got to be honest. I, I think I'm going to end it with a shot of these, uh, these little berries over here. There's some berries with a... Uh, Kind of eaten leaf and it looks quite interesting to me so I know I was gonna focus on insects today not nature but when you see something that you like sometimes you just gotta go for it So the idea behind this one is if I can hopefully get a focus stack, which I might. Okay, so that was just a quick nature photo. I'm going to attempt to focus stack that when I get back home. And uh, hopefully that comes out nice. Let me know what you guys think of that one. That was just a real, real quick thing that stood out to me. Um, I can hear my family playing in the background. I'm going to go ahead and get back over to them. If you guys liked this video, please hit that like button. It helps out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel to see my next videos. And uh, this is a cheap setup. Telephoto lens. I think you can get this lens for $100. Cheaper uh, if you get it used. They are the Mikey 10mm and 16mm Micro Four Thirds extension tubes. I believe I paid 30 bucks for them. You can find them cheaper than that on sale sometimes. It's the Mikey Speedlight MK430. Um... I believe I got this one for 40 bucks. It does have a horrible recharge time, which you can, I mean, there's, there's ways to mitigate that. So that'll be another video, I guess. Um, and again, it's the EM1 Mark II camera. And this is the homemade diffuser at a cardboard lined with uh, reflective aluminum foil on the inside with some plastic on the front to diffuse it. And it actually works great. Um, so yeah, that's it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video.